Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. We are taking a look at the P762 today. We've got rails on a battle rifle. Yay! Home SMG rifle, battle rifle, P762. We've got a 20 round magazine, and that is it. Wah. Oh well. Uh, we've got scopes and ACOGs in the spawner, but that's just because we've got rails on here. We've got rails on the top and on the bottom. Got some good stuff there. We've got a stock that looks like it's folding and adjustable, but isn't. So that's a bummer. Anyway, <laughs> let's check it out. Let's take a look at the controls. What do we got here? Modern controls. Down on the trackpad, we'll eject the magazine. There it goes. Let's put it back in. Our bolt handle is this little guy on the left side. It's kind of small. When you grab it, it flips out. Pull back and release. You got it. Holding right on the trackpad will lock the bolt back. Up on the trackpad, we'll release it. And it's got a bolt release button in the usual M16 -y style place, like there. Just get your controller near it. You don't have to press a button or anything, and it'll release the bolt. Here is your selector switch. You've got safe and semi left on the trackpad, which is between the two. And it is not really indicated on the right side, although it looks like it was supposed to be but yeah, you know, the model doesn't actually show it. So that's a bummer. You've got a stock here that looks like it would fold and adjust, and it doesn't. Uh, I've clicked everywhere that I could find to click. Safety first, put that on safe. <laughs> I've clicked everywhere there is to uh, click on in this thing and uh, have not been able to fold it. So that's a bit of a bummer. It is kind of a small stock. It does kind of get up in your face here. So that's not the best thing in the world. Let's talk about attachments, and I see we've got some rails. All right, we've got a big rail along the top. We've got a little baby rail on the bottom. These kind of look like rails on the sides, but they're not. So just top and bottom rails as far as that goes. Let's see what goes on the barrel. Muzzle brake. We'll go. Suppressor. We'll go. Uh, barrel extension. We'll go, of course. Yes. Always does. Muzzle brake. We'll go. Come back here. What else we got? Ah, yes. So, foregrip will go on the thing there. And will it go over here? No. Okay. So, it'll go on the front there because it is a Picatinny rail muzzle brake. Uh, foregrip. Doesn't need a stock. Already got a stock. Oh, battle spatula. Don't forget the battle spatula. Yeah. It's not a real gun without battle spatula. That's what I always say. Uh, no custom uh, sights or anything like that for it. Let's take a look at our sights. Well, as you probably noticed earlier, there are no iron sights on it. You just got a flat rail on top. And, uh, yeah. Well, thanks to volume of fire and the cheaty tracers I have turned on, it's not too bad, but there's uh, no normal sights on it. So, uh, yeah. So let's see what it looks like with the red dot. Well, red dot on top. Oh, well, of course. As all these flat top rails are, you put a red dot on it and it's good to go. But yeah, the stock really is short and it really does get right up in your face. So you might want to move that red dot a little further forward than you normally have it. Yeah. Let's do a recoil test. 20 rounds of 7.62 by 51. Here we go. Hmm, little jumpy there. Started off good. Two tens, some nines, some more nines, a couple, uh, another ten in there. Yeah, see, it did bounce a around a bit. 8.5, though, is quite respectable. I'll take it for a battle rifle. 8.5 to beat. Let's see what it does with the muzzle brake. Well, that was all over the place, wasn't it? A lot of tens, though. A lot of nines, too. 8.85, numerically an improvement. Might have been an improvement, but you see how it went up and then went back, and yeah, it's not what I call good. And finally, let's try our suppressor. See if I can get some more consistency out of this guy. Whoa, first couple looked really good. Yep, bunch of tens there. Then it started to drift all over the place. 8.65 is what we ended up with, but yeah, look, there's a six in there. There's a six and some sevens in there, so it really does drift quite a bit. You're going to have to slow down a little bit with these battle rifles. There you have it. 
the P762 in 762 by 51. Modern battle rifle. Till next time, I will see you. Who needs sights? Maybe I do. Well, who needs tracking? Hmm.